<laughs> so that's cool. So like, yeah. was that space? Did did, uh, did Graham Parsons used to live there or something like he, that? He across the like, street. He died across the street. Did wow. he really? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Are you making that up? No, I'm not. Oh. No, the hotel. The hotel's the right hotel's across the street. The hotel's famously Yeah, died. literally across the street from where I lived. Yeah, you could, you could walk across. the street And then didn't David Briggs take his body and drive it around for a yeah, while? Yeah, and then burned it. Was right? it David Briggs? It was David Briggs. I didn't movie. know that. You didn't know that. We worked with David Briggs on our first EP. I did not know the story. Yeah, it was him. I got to say this. This kind of wild synchronicity happens on this podcast a lot. Wow, I've that's even, a trip. I've even said that sentence like 10 other times. That's a trip. I didn't know this. David Briggs was the first guy we ever made a record He with. was so much fun. Out of right? his mind. Incredible. It was worth it. Oh, but of dude, look at the connection there. It's the best. What did you, he do with you guys? You make your first record with David first Briggs. EP. First EP. We never yeah. released it. What was yeah. on it? It didn't work, um, but honestly, it was so much fun. For we, the it songs, was worth fifty we, we, grand that I think we it spent was. on it. We wound up re-releasing it, re-releasing it a ne- like five years right. ago. We and went it was back the mix, to really. What was the mix called? we didn't What's love? Uh, what was it called? It had like three or four songs that were on our first record, yeah. and then it had like um, Mother. Yeah, Ouch. another song. I didn't really like that Ouch. one. <laughs> it had some of the, like the very first yeah, songs yeah. that we wrote that we really it's weren't. Tough to pull off a song called we, no, Mother. No, like literally. It was not. Right, yeah. Even, like even there's John, been two great ones yeah. at well, least that John I could think Lennon's of. John Lennon's is great, but even that one's, it's a rough listen. It's like, <laughs> that song even, hurts so bad to listen hurts. to. Yeah, I just. All yeah. that primal scream shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great. I start identifying with yeah. it. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> oh, man. It's brutal. Wait, yeah, I hear him on that. Go back to that EP, though. So we did this EP, and it's, then I, and then we, we didn't we didn't feel like it was great, you know what I mean? But here's the deal: the recordings were fantastic. John Hanlon, this engineer, did really the recording. Yeah, the recording. I never great. heard the them. mix. No, 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 the thing that came out. <laughs> That, that Brad and I oh, remixed. right, that you remixed. The right. Re- right. So I didn't hear like, the original tracks. Yeah, I wasn't the, there the when you mixed it. The original tracks sounded great. They just like, were mixed in a jewel. funny way. You know what I mean? Dude, you wanted this. Look, at, That's why you wanted me here. <laughs> that's he has why I no invited interest, you on the podcast, He has no dude. interest in the band. <laughs> uh, that's not true. That's not true. Go ahead. <laughs> I do. It's just, I can't He texted me yesterday. Make sure you bring your jewel Make sure you bring your jewel. I love it. Dude, I should. I have another one. I will give you one. You don't want it. I don't want it. Yes, you do. I, I want it, but he's I giving don't, them away. You know, yeah. You can't quit me. I can quit you. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying every day. I almost called you daddy, but that would be too much. <laughs> too, weird. <laughs> too weird. Too weird. Too weird. Yeah, so go on with this David yeah. Briggs yes, story. Come on. Oh, hey, who's losing oh, his so, mind? Oh, so yeah. So, so anyway, it was the most incredible experience. First of all, the guy it was just had charisma. It was just incredible. And he's in the tracking oh room with us. As a producer, he's in the tracking room. He has his own wedge. <laughs> his own wedge. And he's doing that as we're playing. And we're oh, like, really? Conducting? Yeah, like, conducting. Like, <laughs> That's enthusiasm. I'm making all these crazy motions. And now was, I would be into it. Yeah. Like, now I'd be like, yeah, you I mean, know? it was right. amazing. Because I'm that out. guy now. I'm that crazy now. Yeah, yeah. you are. But then, you know, but no, I wasn't then. I was like, man, this is so not it cool. It scared us. It would scare us. Like, you know, like 19, you know. Who's this fucking yeah, old this dude? Guy in room. This old dude. <laughs> <laughs> he might try something on me. <laughs> <laughs> this was before you guys were signed? <laughs> um, we had just no. gotten signed. And then we, it was right before we had management. So we do this EP, spend 50 grand, and then the management hears it. And they're How'd like, you get hooked up with that guy? Um, our A and R guy oh, okay. uh, from Capital was like, "You guys like Neil Young, so like I'm gonna go with David Briggs," and we worked with you know that was the, that was the guy. Amazing. We had an amazing time with him, and in the end, the re- recordings I were know. great. I did have just a great the time. The mixes weren't great. I was into it, man. Remember, and he was in. We went out and mixed this thing out at Indigo Ranch. You ever been out there? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, it's, it's, it's John Barrymore's like old yeah. like ranch in from Malibu. The 20s. It's wow. in a canyon. It's like it's the most killer studio ever. They had the original two track mixes of Dark Side of the Moon. That's right. Holy shit! Yeah, we, to, we and we put that night. on one night, and, yeah. and like I mean, I didn't, I didn't really hadn't really smoked a lot of pot or anything in my life that time, but we did that time, and I went yeah. around the bend, around the moon. Well, and then they put that record on, and it was like, oh my god! They put up the the original taste. It sounded unbelievable. It was inc- wow. it was an amazing an amazing night. Dark. Well, yeah. The old Neve, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Stunning. That's well, amazing. what we didn't realize is that he was um, sprinkling a little cocaine in the marijuana. Right. And we were all... And the record is oh, m- even called, more exciting. Yeah, like we didn't know primo. it. Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> didn't know that. That's what they call that, a primo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why am I having panic attacks? I don't know why I'm having panic attacks. I've never had a panic attack before. Why do I feel so awful? Because you're free basing. <laughs> yeah, basically we were free basing. We didn't know it, but... Well, we had, then that progressed, though, just straight up, you know. 
And you think about that console, how beautiful it was. You know, just just carving it out right oh, there yeah, on man. the right. board. They were know. old school. They you were might old bump school. a fader when you're coming yeah. up with that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's why the magic happens, Joe. Yeah, that is. That's that old rock and roll. You know magic. how to do it. I do. Yeah. I've you been, do know I how do. to do it. I do know how to do it. Yeah. You yeah. got to make that yeah, rock and roll magic. I've I've made some of that rock and roll magic. You have.